everyone, Iram here with Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I will be using a graphite pencil to color my images and the metallic watercolors but also new for the card background. I'll stamp one of the images from the ruffled flower stamp set in obsidian ink. I'll be stamping this twice because I need two pieces to make my card but I'll color just one on camera. So I'll start by adding uh, the shading uh, closer to the flower center and I'll do this all around the flower center for all the petals and uh, then I'll use a blending stump to blend out the graphite. To add a bit of depth I'll also use a black prisma color pencil. Even though I'm using a black color pencil, I will keep my hand very light as I don't want very dark flowers. But my leaves are going to be dark. This is a super easy process and doesn't take a lot of time. The only uh, step that requires time in this card making process is uh, the drying time for the background. By the way, I am not using any special cardstock. This is regular cardstock and it's a bit smooth. The blending stump glides smoothly on this and blends the graphite quite well. You can use Crest Solar White cardstock as well. Um, I have used that in the past and it uh, uh, blends the graphite very well as well. I'll leave you with a bit of music. Be right back. For my background, I'm not using a watercolor cardstock, but you can. It is your choice. I'll first add water to the pans so that the pigment reacts and, it, and it's easier for me to pick it up. I'm going to use two shades starting with the blue, which I'm going to be applying in the middle. And then on top and bottom, I'm going to apply this mint green color. After applying the first layer of a uh, color wash, I'll use my heat gun to dry the panel. And once the panel is dry, I'll start adding a second layer of color wash over this and uh, to get a slightly darker background. I'll keep blending the two shades so that the transition between the two colors is smooth. The colors look really beautiful and kind of look like sea. Once I'm happy with the look, I'll leave the panel to dry and straighten. Now I'll start arranging my flowers, which I die cut using the coordinating die. I'll first add black paint splatters from the 36 pan watercolor set. And you should give them a little bit of time to dry. Because, but I was in a hurry, so I just started popping my images right away. So I'll adhere the images with foam tape, uh, one at the top and one at the bottom. And after this, uh, I have the strip that I'll add in the middle. This is where my sentiment will go. And I'll adhere the strip with foam tape as well. 
Then to finish, um, I'll adhere this Hello die cut, which is from Simple uh, Hello die in black. To give it a bit of oomph, you can use a silver offset um, Hello too, um, and I'm sure it will look great. I did not have a lot of time on my hands and I am super lazy so I just went with the one layer of hello but you can definitely use a silver offset with the black hello and it is going to look very uh, nice with the shimmery background and uh, the stark black hello. The shimmer on the background is beautiful. You should try making your card backgrounds with the metallic watercolors. They are absolutely gorgeous. That is all from my side today. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.